Derek from Classic Game Room, and by now, uh, I, I trust you're enjoying your Nintendo 3DS. Uh, who wouldn't? I mean, it's glasses-free 3D gaming, uh, and it's portable, no less. Uh, and although we've, you know, kind of been honest about its flaws, it's a great system. We're having a lot of fun with it here at the underwater base. But, you know, it's, as I said, it's missing something. Something very important. Uh, I've been trying to put my finger on, on, on what would have really made the 3DS, you know, from great to perfect. And, uh, well, I, I think what the 3DS is missing is me. My me. And one of the cool things about the 3DS is this adorable little bastard can be on your 3DS uh, with a simple scan of the screen. I'm going to show you how to make your 3DS perfect. So one of the really cool things about this system uh, is that you can actually send and receive Miis a whole lot easier than it was on your Wii. Uh, so check this out. You can actually go to, this is the Mi channel. You've got all your Miis on your, on your home, on your screen up there and you can, you can check them out and move around. As you can see, look at that, look at that devilishly cute little ginger me. That's me! And you, you know, let's say you watch our videos all the time, and you're a big fan, which most of you are, and uh, you want me on your 3DS. Well, let me show you how that's done. You come down to the, to the menu here, and it says uh, QR code slash image options. You're going to want to touch that. Now, this is what's really cool about this system. It actually saves your me as a QR code. Those of you who have Blackberries uh, will be familiar. This is kind of like the BBM thing, where you just scan it and the information saved in your phone. So uh, we're going to save a me as a QR code. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. This is what you're going to do. Save me as QR code. Choose a me. We're going to pick me. And uh, check this out. Watch what happens here. Once I hit OK, my me uh, turns into a to a QR code. So here's what you'll do to get my me on your 3DS. You're going to go back into your uh, your me channel. Uh, I'll show you where we're at again in case you got lost. Your QR code image options. And here's what you're going to do to save my me into your 3DS. You're going to go to scan QR code, which is the top option. Touch that. Now your system's going to start searching for the QR code. It takes a second or two, and then once that happens, this shows up at the top of the screen. This little box. This is where you're going to scan my QR code. It's actually using the, the front-facing cameras. As you can see, that light's on. The cameras are working. So hopefully this works. Uh, you're going to want to hold your 3DS up to your computer screen or your phone or whatever you're watching Undertow on. Uh, make sure that the, the code that you see is perfectly within the border on the top of your screen. Hold it there for a second or two, and, uh, you know, voila, well, hopefully it works, but it should work, right? I mean, voila, hopefully. There I am. I should pop onto your 3DS, uh, thereby making your 3DS purchase completely worthwhile. You're, you know, let's say you're under, you're underwhelmed by the launch library. You can't be underwhelmed by me. That's just the way it is. So put me on your 3DS if interested. Hopefully it works. Uh, you know, a word of caution if you happen to have any... Any lady me's on your 3DS, I may pursue them uh, in a romantic fashion. The first thing you're going to want to do is introduce my me to your sister's me. And then immediately leave the room. <laughs> but that's me on your 3DS! This is like the future. We're back to the future. Enjoy, Undertoads, and please be gentle with my me.